All right, shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Arkagorash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace, and blessings to you, Philoakim, out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. Shabbat Kanak, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, And uh, I want to speak about the second wave of the coronavirus and some uh, smart things that you can do to prepare. Because we understand Esau, Edom, he's going to lock things down again. And that first lockdown, you know, we had a glimpse of, you know, the certain things that can happen. You know, certain food items that, uh, you know, that are not at the store, you know, certain places that you couldn't go, you know, and we don't want to get caught out, caught out there. So we want to use wisdom uh, in these times. Okay. Now, we understand that Yahweh Shemashah, he provides everything for us. You know, we're not in the spirit of prepping, uh, you know, uh, buying bullets and guns and, you know, doing uh, what the world does. Yet we have to, you know, use a little bit of wisdom and understand the times. Now, here there's a snapshot of, you know, on uh, this is uh, today YouTube channel NBC News. And they're already talking about how to prepare for uh, the second wave of coronavirus. And I've been seeing, you know, uh, these different videos pop up. You've been seeing little articles pop up. And when this thing first started, they already told you that the second wave is going to be, uh, you know, there's there's going to be so-called more deaths in the second wave. OK, and we've seen grocery stores, you know, with long lines, certain meat products gone. Certain canned goods gone, you know, uh, dry goods gone. You couldn't get water. They, uh, you know, a uh, filter water. You know, the everybody was scrambling and waiting at the last minute. So look, don't wait at the last minute because this man he's about to lock down everything again. And this time, you know, it can be uh, even a greater lockdown. So here are some of the things that you can do to prepare. You know, uh, grab a little extra food. When you go to the grocery store, don't go crazy. A little uh, dry uh, goods. I would I would grab, you know, like rices and beans and lentils, you know, canned goods, things that are not perishable. You know, if you have uh, like a vacuum sealer, you know, you can vacuum seal certain meat so they can have a longer shelf life. You can get certain, uh, you know, uh, personal items. You know, just 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 a little bit, you know, just so, you know, Esau, he might lock down things for two weeks. You were seeing that out there in Australia where they're in a full lockdown. OK, certain places in the earth, they're in a full lockdown and it's hard to get certain items. So things that you need on a daily basis, OK, it's like food and water, you know, you will want to uh, grab a little extra. OK, let me bring out a scripture. This is uh, Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. Okay, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. We uh, see the evil coming. Uh, we're, we're telling you the evil's coming. Okay. We're telling you that Esau Edom, he's implementing his newer order. Will you not listen? Okay. Even certain uh, of the apostles, like Apostle uh, Tahar, he speaks about, you know, when you go out to the grocery store, get a little extra food. I mean, it, it only makes sense. You know, it only makes sense. You know, like I said, don't go and try to be a prepper, you know, grab an extra, you know, things of, uh, you know, rice and beans, you know, things that you can just store. You know, some water that you can be able to store, you know. Certain seasonings that you're, you're able to store so you can sustain yourself while, you know, uh, uh, you know, a draconian laws being implemented, martial laws being implemented. OK, and now that, that'll give you. You know, a more, uh, you know, peace in mind. You know, you won't be scrambling at the last minute, caught up, you know, in the in, in the, these long lines. OK, and then you get into the store. There's nothing there. Maybe grab, you know, some toiletries. You know, things that you need just a little bit. So it says a prudent man foresee of the evil and hide of himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, the simple of our people that don't. Adhere to the words of Yah Bashim al because yes, everything is spiritual, yet we, we physically have to uh, do things, okay? You, you physically have to uh, uh, go to work, you physically have to go to the store and eat, you know? 
And it will only be smart and in your best interest to go and grab a little extra couple of dry goods and, and canned goods. OK, so when so, you know, when this second wave come off and it's, you know, and uh, it's it's dangerous, so to speak, to go outside because of the, uh, uh, lockdowns or, you know, you, you literally can't find any fucking thing. OK, and here it is. You and your children starving. And then you go, well, what, what, what happened? Well, we're telling you to go out and get a little bit of extra food and water and certain little things, you know. And to prepare, look, look, there are, look, Esau's already telling you, okay, in this video, all right, you got this Moabite woman telling you, okay, the black woman was there, basically, the black woman says she's going out, she's buying toilet paper every time she sees it, hand sanitizer, but these people, they don't have the full knowledge and understanding, ultimately, the Lord is going to save us through all these things, yeah, let me bring out another scripture, this is uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, and wisdom and knowledge, Shall be the stability of thy times. Yeah, wisdom and knowledge of what? Of the times that we're in. Understanding that we're in the evil day. Okay, and it, it would only make sense. Okay, to go out and get a couple extra things. Okay, to, you know, maybe have a, a couple of weeks, maybe a month worth of food that you you know you you don't have to you know when it when it when things get tough. Well, the scriptures speak about a famine. Okay, the scriptures speak of, speak about a famine. So it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And the fear of the Lord is going, what's going, you know, get us through these things. Yet through that fear, we understand the times that we're in and understand how to maneuver in the society. OK, at one point in, in, in this thing, we're going to have to be pilgrims. OK. So there's certain things that you can do. You know, just the hedge, you know, against all these, you know, things that are coming. And it, it, like I said, it only, it's only smart to do th those things here in the video the the woman is telling, you, you know, how to how to prepare, which I didn't even watch. all. I watch about a minute in. But, you know, she, you know, she's going into certain things that you get for your kids and, you know, drugs and stuff like that. And, you know, from the pharmacy. Yeah, we don't take any of those things. It would be wise to get, you know, some herbs. Just some things that that's going to help you out if things get, you know, when things get tough, because things, things are going to get tough. All right. Things are going to come, uh, you know, you know, it's going to come down to the wire. You know, our faith is going to be tried. Yet, you know, through this wisdom and knowledge, we understand, you know, uh, all things. OK, and it will only be smart to get a, a couple of extra things when, uh, you know, when things get, uh, you know, when things get uh, really tight around here when you really can't maneuver and, and, and go outside your house because that's coming all right that's going to actually come well let me bring out a, another scripture because it talks about a man shall desire to go into another city and shall not be able to now out there in uh in australia they have a five uh is it five kilometer radius that they can only be uh, uh you know in uh, uh and and they can't go certain places they only can go outside for one hour OK, and um, no more groups. You can't be in a group, no more than two people, even if you're with your kids. OK. You only can go outside, like I said, for one hour to exercise within a five kilometer radius. OK, you can uh, you can only go to the grocery store once a day. So here it is. You can only go to the grocery store once a day. Right. So say that's say that's the case. Well, when you get to the, the grocery store, that shit's empty. And if you get caught back outside, you know, then that's your ass. This thing is coming down to the wire, man. Are you are you not seeing what's going on? Uh, let me bring that scripture up. Second address. I'm in the wrong scripture. One moment while I pull this up. Where is 15? City. Give me a second. 
Okay, so let me find this. Yeah, let me let me go up. Let me read this. Uh, Second Edris 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction door of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor prince princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, because all our anarchies have, is coming to pass. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why is that? Why shall a man desire to go into another city and shall not be able? Because things are going to be locked down. Okay, Esau is going to lock you down in your homes. Okay, he's going to say, okay, if you don't have this vaccination, you can't go out. You can't do this. You can't do that. This is the reason why we're going to need Yahweh Shemash to intervene. In the meantime, what you can do is you could, you know, kind of prepare for that and get a little extra things in the meantime. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So a, a big famine is coming. And we're, of course, we're going to depend on Yah Bashim Shai to, to be able to eat. His servants are going to eat. OK, and, and using wisdom will tell you to get a little extra food. OK, and I'm not going to draw this out. You know, I was pretty much it on that. Um, you know, that's pretty much to the point. All praise of Yahweh Shemashah. Until next time, Shalom.